morning, everybody. I'm happy to have you here with me at story time. What a beautiful day it is. Such wonderful sunshine. It's still not too hot out. So I really hope you get the chance to get outside and play today. For today's story time, I am going to talk about more sea creatures. Did you guys enjoy your hermit crab activity last week? That's great news. I was hoping that you would have a lot of fun. This week, I'm going to talk about seahorses. And I've got this fun little activity for us to do that, of course, I'll explain at the end. So let's just go ahead and start with our hello song. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. In our homes at story time, we clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. In our homes at story time, we wave and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. In our homes at story time, we stomp and sing hello. Great job. Give yourself a round of applause. You are really doing great at that song. So you might be wondering, what book do I have for you to listen to today? Well, I happen to have one of my favorite books. It is called The Pout Pout Fish. Why do you think they call this book The Pout Pout Fish? That's right. He looks like he's pouting. He's got sad eyes and a frowny face. Can you guys make a pout pout face? So good. Although I don't like seeing a pout pout face, so hopefully we figure out how to change his pout pout face. Now this book is by Deborah Deason and the pictures are by Dan Hanna. Deep in the water where the fish hang out lives a glum and gloomy swimmer with an ever-present pout. Do you see his not so happy face? I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. So I spread the dreary wearies all over the place with a blub, blub, blub. He looks extra sad. Along comes a clam with a wide winning grin and a pearl of advice for her pal to take in. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your crosstown frown, don't you think it's time to turn it upside down? That's from the clam. Well, says the fish to his friend, nice thought, Miss Clam. I hear what you're saying, but... It just isn't my way. You see, I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. So I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Ooh, what beautiful sea creature do we have here? If you said jellyfish, you are correct. Along comes a jellyfish. He floats through the ocean. His tentacles are trailing in a gentle locomotion. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your daily scaly scowl, I wish you wouldn't greet us with a grimace and a growl. Well, says the fish to his friend, Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly but it isn't up to me. Hmm. You see, I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. So I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. A blub, blub, blub. Well, he sure is getting me down too. 
Wonder what ocean animal we'll run into next. Here it is. Along comes a squid, quiet, under sliggly sight. She is squirmy, she is squelchy, and she is certainly impolite. Hey, Mr. Fish, you kaleidoscope of a mope. How about a smile, a little joy, maybe a little hope? Well, says the fish to his friend, Mrs. Squid, I would try, but I haven't any choice. Take a look, and you will see why. You see, I am a pout, pout fish with a pout, pout face, and I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Now, along comes an octopus. That's right. You guys are so good at these. He has eight great arms covered on the underside with tiny little sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell you it straight. Your hulky, bulky, sulky is an unattractive trait, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Eight, my chum, with a mouth like mine, I am destined to be glum. You see, I am a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, and I spread the weary drearies all over the place with a blub, blub, blub. Now, along comes a silent silver shimmer the gang has never seen before, this bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish, but instead of saying, hey, she plants a kiss upon his mouth, his pout, pout mouth, and then she swims away. Mr. Fish is most astounded. Mr. Fish is just aghast. He is stone-faced like a statue, and then he blinks, and at last. My friends, says Mr. Fish, I should have known all along. I thought that I was pouty, but it turns out I was wrong. He was wrong. What kind of fish do you think he is? Well, I am a kiss kiss fish with a kiss kiss face for spreading cheery cheeries all over the place. So I'll smooch and I'll smooch and I'll smooch and I'll smooch. All of our sea friends got some smooches and I'll smooch for more. The end. Well, isn't that a good ending to a story? Mr. Pout Pout Fish was starting to bring me down a little bit, but all he needed was a friend or a family member to give him some love, and they shared it that way. And there are other ways to share love just by letting somebody know that you're thinking about them. And I just think if we all tried to share that a little more with other people, we would have some more smiling faces. So let's go and sing a song. Now this song is about ocean animals, but it goes to the wheels on the bus. So you should be able to jump in real quick. Are you ready? The sharks in the ocean go chomp, 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 chomp. The sharks in the ocean go chomp, chomp, chomp. All day long, the lobsters in the ocean go pinch, 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 pinch. The lobsters in the ocean go pinch, pinch, pinch all day long. The fish in the ocean go swish, 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 swish. The fish in the ocean go swish, swish, swish all day long. 
The seahorses in the ocean rock back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The seahorse in the ocean rock back and forth all day long. The clams in the ocean go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The clams in the ocean go open and shut all day long. The kids in the ocean jump up and down, up and down, up and down. The kids in the ocean jump up and down, playing all day long. Good job! You really did great with that song. I know the wheels on our bus is one of our favorite songs, so I thought this one would be fun to sing. I hope you had as much fun as I did. So, you all know what's next. A book. And this book is by Eric Carle, one of my favorite authors. It is called 10 Little Rubber Ducks. Well, it just so happens that this book is called 10 Little Rubber Ducks because it is about, count them with me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten little rubber ducks. And what color are these little rubber ducks? That's right, they're yellow. Let's see what journey these little rubber ducks go on. Chuckity chuckity chuck goes the rubber duck machine. Out popped little yellow ducks, one after another, one after another. The little eyes were painted, bills red, and eyes blue. Then they are packed 10 to a box and off they go. To be loaded onto a cargo ship. Hello, calls the captain. The captain and his cargo ship are taking the little rubber ducks across the wide sea, far, far away. Do you see the little boat over here? And all the boxes of all the little rubber ducks. How many rubber ducks are in a box? Do you remember? That's right, 10. So smart. Suddenly, a storm churns the water into big waves. A strong wind whistles across the sea. A big wave lifts up one of the boxes and throws it into the water. The box opens and 10 little rubber ducks fall out. 10 rubber ducks overboard, yells the captain. 10 rubber ducks overboard. After some time, the storm finally calms down. 10 little rubber ducks bob in the big wide sea, as far as one can see. Only water and sky, and the 10 little rubber ducks begin to drift apart. Can you help me count these wonderful yellow ducks? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good, but now they're starting to drift apart. So that means they're going to separate. So 10 is going to turn into a smaller and smaller and smaller number as they start to go their ways. The first little rubber duck drifts west and a dolphin jumps over it. The second little rubber duck drifts east and a seal barks at it. What a beautiful rainbow. The third little rubber duck drifts north and a polar bear growls at it. <gasps> the fourth little rubber duck drifts south and a flamingo just stares at it. The fifth little rubber duck drifts to the left and a pelican chatters at it. Now the sixth rubber duck drifts to the right. A turtle glides past it. The seventh little rubber duck drifts up, and that's right, 
and octopus blinks at it. Now we're on to the eighth little rubber duck, and he drifts down, and a seagull screeches at it. What a journey these ducks have been on. We have two rubber ducks left. The ninth little rubber duck drifts this way, and a whale sings to it. Wonder what a whale sounds like when it sings. The tenth little rubber duck drifts that way, bobbing and floating on the big wide sea. The sun is setting, and it is getting dark. As far as one can see, just water and sky. But now it's the night sky. The next morning, the tenth little rubber duck meets a mother duck and her ducklings. Quack, says the mother duck. Quack, 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 says the ducklings. At the end of the day, the sun sets again. It is getting dark, and the mother duck and her ducklings swim towards their nest. The little rubber duck floats along with them. How cute! He found a little duck family. Good night, says the moon. Quack, says the mother duck. Quack, 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 says the duckling. Squeak, says the little rubber duck. The end. What a crazy journey those little ducks just went on. In the ocean, they got to see all kinds of different animals from all different locations. And then one ended up finding the perfect home. As you can see behind me, I actually have my pet Goldine here. This is Penelope, my daughter's fish, actually, and she needs pets. So why don't we go ahead and do that? And we will get on to our activity for the day. Can you guys say hi to Goldine? Hi, Goldine. Thanks for being with us while we read about sea animals. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get back to our program. So as I showed you guys before, this is the activity we're going to do. So what I have for you will be a, a paper plate with some holes in it and some string. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to tape the end of the string to the back of your plate just like this. If I can find my tape. <laughs> Very good. As you can see, you just tape it. It doesn't matter where because, again, it's on the back. Our pretty pictures are going to be on the front. So, on this part, feel free to draw the sea, the ocean under the sea. Maybe you and somebody could research some pictures of what the ocean looks like, and then you guys can draw, like I have here, some coral, maybe some rocks, and some other sea creatures, so you have a nice ocean background. And then you're going to string it through the holes. So I actually put a piece of tape on the end of my yarn so it makes it a little easier to just string back and forth through the holes. Again, it will make it a little easier for the kids to have something to grab onto. If you need help, just ask a parent. So once you string it through, you're just gonna pull it back around and you're gonna string it through again. Now when you do this, you're gonna do it three or four times in the same hole. Then you'll move down after the three or four times. This is a great time for you guys to practice your counting. And then you come on down to the next hole. Then when you guys come down to the next hole, you'll do it again. You'll do it three times. So one, two, and then three. And then what do you think you do next? That's right, you move on to the next hole until you get to the very bottom and you have all of this string here. Now it kind of looks like water because it moves, right? Well, now it's time for you to move on to your seahorse. 
So you guys are going to color and decorate your seahorse however you'd like. I chose different colors of yellow and green because I thought that they looked really cool that way. You could use whatever colors you want. But the fun part is, is now you get to weave in and out and in and out through your waves and put your seahorse in the ocean. And then the cool part about this is, is he can move in the ocean. Look at him swimming, look at him go. I had a lot of fun with this activity. In our bags, we're gonna have everything that you need to complete this activity. And then I'm also gonna have a few other goodies like some under the sea movement cards, a color by number seahorse, and a labeling of a seahorse that so you can kind of learn the different parts of one. So I hope to see you guys come pick up your bags this week and definitely hope to see you next week for story time. Bye.